Mission gets results. In other news, access to portable water is a major challenge facing healthcare workers at the Sakibidiako Chips compound in the Tungkatamansu municipality of the Greater Accra region. As a result, some residents have stepped in to supply water to the facility. Healthcare workers want the problem addressed so they can provide quality healthcare services to patients. The Sakibidiako Community-Based Health Planning and Services CHIPS compound falls under the Duchile Sub-Municipal, which is under the Tungkatamansu Health Directorate in the Greater Accra Region. The absence of a government facility compelled the Municipal Assembly and Health Directorate to improvise by converting a shipping container into a health facility. It is an innovation for us in the municipality. We have realized that because there is no government facility there, it makes it difficult, especially for pregnant women, to go all the way to Tema. Currently, we have a midwife who is visiting the homes to identify pregnant women, also to conscientize them that we would be opening the place. The container at the moment is a standalone structure. It is not fenced. So working from such an environment is not conducive, but we are trying to. Currently, the Sakibidiako Chips compound renders primary health care services to residents, including antenatal services. At 8 a.m., and nurses here are ready to work. Today's clinic is dedicated to child welfare. The nurses here, though eager to work effectively, are faced with some challenges, including access to water. Due to the situation, nurses have to fetch water from nearby homes. Fortunately, neighbors are understanding and eager to provide water for the clinic. We are all in one community to help them. So every time they came here to collect water, I give it to them. That is not the only challenge facing the facility. We need to be connected to the ECG, the national grid. We are now using solar. We need a fridge for keeping our vaccines. Because of that, we have to go to boom every morning to bring our vaccines here. The cold chain of our vaccines it's not all that to our satisfaction. We need a Doppler, we need bed sheets, we need VP apparatus, weighing scale, we need educational materials that we can use in, to help us educate the mothers on a lot of issues. There's no washroom on the chips compound and once again, neighbors have stepped in to help the nurses here. Some quarantine allows the nurses to use this washroom for free. When they came here, there's no place for them to unite. That's why I prefer to help them. Nurses and patients want challenges facing the CHIPS compound addressed. Because there is, the, the clinic is not equipped, most of them go to Tema General Hospital, go to Ashiyama. So if this place is equipped, at the end of the day, they will not be traveling that distance and they is going to reduce uh, uh, maternal... Uh, mortality in the in the district. Also, uh, I would like to plead to the stakeholders. Anybody who is watching us, it's not only the responsibility of the government. I'm appealing to government and health authorities to fence this facility for us because our children are not safe here. Water is a challenge in this health facility. I want government and health authorities to provide water for the nurses to work with. As a pregnant woman, anytime I come here, I'm given a letter to go to Ashama and Tema in order to have my lab test done. This is not good. We also need an ultrasound machine here. Despite the challenges, nurses working at the facility say they are motivated to give of their best to provide quality health care to residents at Sakibidiako and its environs. We are willing to work, so we always try to improvise because we still have to give our care. And that's it for Mission. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.